Hi everyone. So um, I'm just going to do a quick um, info video on what to do if you've got a bit of moss in your pods. I'm just doing some spring maintenance on a few pods I've got in my garden. I've not looked after them very well if I'm really honest. Um, so the spring growth is starting to come through now because we've had that lovely hot sunny weather. It's actually raining now. Um, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you. So some of my pods, so here's the fresh growth. Um, so as you can see, it's really popping through now. Um, there's lots of little green bits coming here. Um, so I did trim my pods. Uh, I got rid of all the long straggly dead bits um, in the autumn. So I've got a bit of moss here. So I'm just rooting out the main bits of moss here. So just carefully. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this and then um, just turf it away, basically. Uh, you don't have to be too careful with it. Um, I mean, don't pull out clumps of sedum. But as you can see, I'm just doing this. And then with a little fork, I'm going to aerate it. Just get the soil a bit moved, a bit aerated. I'm being careful not to pull out the sedum, really. Um, just the moss and then um and then i'm going to treat it with a product called viano mobacter and that's actually not a moss killer it's a moss digester and that's really important because moss killer that you'd put on your lawn will actually kill the sedum as well so that's really important you use the viano mobacter um it's a digester it's a bacteria that eats the moss so it's really clever um it is slightly expensive this year because of the fertilizer shortage in the world um but yeah so here we go i'm just uh pulling out the bits of moss um there's actually quite a lot here so i'm just uh pulling it out so i have pulled a bit of sedum out there as you can see it's come out with the moss but i'm not too worried really if you really want to you can shake off the moss get rid of the moss and then take the sedum so there's the roots of the sedum so you can actually just pop that straight back down in and when you fertilize um in a couple of weeks once the frosts are finished um that should grow absolutely fine because the root the roots of that there they're nice established roots so that will just bed straight back in and that'll be fine uh, so yeah i hope you find that helpful and um, yeah, speak soon.